Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Dark Souls 3. As we discovered last time, when we defeated Vort of the Borealis Valley, we came over here and saw that it is time to raise our banner. Try rolling. Well, that sounds like just an awful idea. We have no idea what raising the banner actually does, but part of the reason for that is that we don't have the banner. Now the real fight begins. I think the real fight begins here of the cliff and hold up the banner. Good luck. Oh, interesting. This is not a user-created message. You can tell because there's no appraisal on it, but... Unfortunately, because we have no banner, we can't actually test this out. So, there's a couple options available to us. There's still that large area I died in that we need to go and check out. Try duo. You say so, I don't really know what that means. And there is also uh, this area here that is full of knights that I want to take down. So let's go this way first. Oh wait, I forgot I have 3,000 souls and I don't really want to risk losing them. Whoa! And there's a dude up there who wants to hit me with a crossbow. Why wouldn't they, right? Everyone should want to hit me with a crossbow at this point. I'd like to run up and take him out. I am also concerned about this dude with the spear. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. I thought I was going to crash for a second. Dude with the spear's done. I wonder, are these guys alive? These guys are definitely not alive. Deserter trousers, which you don't care about. And again, before I do any of this, I had to remember I have thousands of souls on me. I want to make sure I don't lose them. That would make me sad. Vort of the Boreal Valley. Firelink Shrine, please. We don't have Karthus Curved Sword. Well, that sounds like fun. We don't have enough Titanite to do any upgrades. Unfortunate, but I think we have enough to level up. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Ashen One, sovereign. I will show Ashen One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, level up. Then take no. I don't know what a sovereign soul is. I assume again you'll tell me at some point. Alright, ooh, that increases my attack by three. And it's definitely what I want to do. I think I want to run a quality build. If I remember from the first game, quality is a combination of strength and dex. Ah, tis good, tis what needs. No Estus Shard. Ah, infused my own. Oh, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andre, you're great. Okay, I don't be careful. see anything to do with my boss soul. Ah, well met, Ash Halme. I'd like to sell. I'm gonna sell these crappy broken swords. I could sell the longbow, but I think I'm going to put it in storage. I'm going to keep that because it's lighter. I'm going to keep those two. Mm, she hasn't really changed what she has on offer. I shouldn't really expect her to change what she has on offer, but still she hasn't. I'm still interested in a scimitar. Has E and B short sword dagger. I mean halberd is really something that I would like to try. And these are interesting, right? I have I have better stuff there, but here this stuff is just so heavy. The chain helm isn't. It's five hundred. I have twelve hundred. I'm gonna check this out. Ashen one. Oh. All right, so. 
Let's take a look at the chain helm. This is 3-1, this is 3-9. So this once again brings me above 50%. And it doesn't actually seem good. My weight ratio goes over 50, and the item itself, not great. Let's check what it looks like. Oh, look how noble I look with my chain. I think I'm just going to continue to look ridiculous with my gauntlets. And if I get some knight gauntlets, well, that's cool, we'll use those. Uh, so... The helm goes in, and I want to put the arrows in. Oh, it's equipped. The one single arrow is equipped, but I have no bow, so whatever. Um... Transpose to extract its true strength. I'm going to store it because I don't want to use it and I don't need it clogging up the inventory. Alright, and let's head back to here where we will kill the three dudes that we had already killed one more time. Ooh. The bone wheel actually sounds really good. Its special weapon is to spin it around. That sounds like fun. That sounds like something I really want to do. Hey, buddy. Your friend Scrabble is here. You might remember me from when we had fun before. Let's try to backstab and it didn't quite work. That's fine. Dude up there can't actually get me. Yo! Come over here. I'm asking, so it must be a good idea, right? Come on. Come on! Oh! I thought I was gonna fight him without the crossbow, dude. Whoa! Roll. Then crossbow dude shows up anyway to ruin the fun. Woo! And we're gonna ram that up your backside. Take an Estus. Grab our winnings. Really funny that they all happen to die at the exact same spot. Really funny that they're all dead. Ha 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 Um. Looks like I do meet the requirements for this. Now, it's much worse. 104 plus 20. Oh, man, it's way worse. Everything about this thing is worse. Common short spear allows attacking with shield up. Spear attacks are centered on thrusting, but can inflict high damage when timed at the end of an enemy's swing. As a shield splitter, take a large step forward to make a single thrust to puncture enemy shields and inflict damage. I don't actually want to use this thing, but... Just thought, hey, let's check it out. Ooh -wee. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Maybe I'll use it another time, but because we are fighting these knights... Because that's what's next. Whoa! Hey, buddy. I wanted to draw him away. Oh! Alright. He wants to give me something. Oh, a knight's crossbow. Oh, if I was using bows. Oh, I love crossbows. Crossbow used by the proud knights of Lothric. It bears an elaborate gold design. The crossbow has been blessed with the power of lightning. Ooh. In anticipation of the use of lightning bolts. Lightning bolts. Ha ha ha. 
Whoa! No? It's like I hear footsteps. Okay. Uh, skill tackle. Lunge into a shoulder tackle. Interesting. But it's not. No requirements. Heavier. 40 lightning, 40 physical. It's pretty cool. We'll say pretty cool, and I wish I was using it. But I'm not. Okay, now this guy wants to rumble. I want to lure you away, because I would like to walk up there unharmed, hopefully. Oh, come on! Oh, back up a little bit. Nope! Whoa! Got him. That was actually pretty good. Pretty happy with that one. Now I know I saw them up that way. But it looks like the way forward here might now be clear. I'm gonna walk up here first. Huh. This guy, I can't tell if he's bad or not. He's bad. Is he mourning? What's he doing? There's no talk, so we're definitely stabbing him in the back! No! No you don't! Uh, he didn't backstab. When I tried to backstab him... Oh my gosh. Oh no! Whew! Back up, please! Oh, I tried. I tried. I tried to backstab him. I don't know if I just missed or if he can't be backstabbed. Maybe he's just standing there waiting for you to screw up like that. I mean, the game is well designed. It totally could be that he's just standing there waiting for you to screw up. I would not put it past the game at all. Yo. That went smooth. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, I want this guy to come down. Ah! Running low on stamina here. Ooh, a light crossbow. Nice. He does not turn as fast as I do, which is sad for him. Uh, no, I want to look at the crossbow that I got. Knight's crossbow. You would think it's definitely better. The requirements are higher, but the split between lightning and physical means that maybe the knight's crossbow is not as good. I don't know. Standard crossbow wielded by common soldiers. It must be ready before firing. Bolts must be equipped in order to use crossbows. Up to two kinds of bolt can be equipped at a time, and these can be switched between as necessary and a tackle. Maybe tackle is the standard crossbow move.
Oh, look at that guy. He's just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm a sprinting. I'm a sprint through everything. I'm a sprinter. I mean, that's how I came down here in the first place, so... Uh-oh. Yo, buddy. Oh! Whew! Ah, yeah! There you go. Whoa! Got him. He's like, running low on stamina. This could be bad. Fortunately, it was okay. Whoa! He got me. Whew! No, you don't. No, you don't. Whoa! Got him. I'm just gonna say, I'm doing way better than I was doing before. Yeah, I know we have that guy up there. There's definitely an item up there for me to get, right? Yes. Lucerne. Looks like a halberd. Gonna yoink that. We're gonna let that guy up there mourn for now. He doesn't seem to care too much about me. Just like I'm gonna let that knight be. Because I don't think he cares about me right now. I wonder if we can go up there. I'm to bet we can. Maybe we've even been up there. I don't know. Alright, let's check out the loose iron, which I believe is a weapon. It's a hammer. So, we don't have the strength to yield this yet. A pole arm with hard, sharp... With a sharp, hard, pronged head that inflicts thrust attacks. The loose iron is wielded overhand like a hammer, or can be swung from the side to break through shields. Spin sweep. Sweep foes in a large spinning motion. Utilize momentum to transition into a overhanded, strong smash attack. Well, that sounds pretty good, but we are three off in terms of strength to get there. Am I not dual wielding? I should probably do that. Alright, we're gonna ignore this guy for now. These people are still, like, they don't know what they're doing. That! This is either a boss room, or based on the blood, this is someone I need to speak with. Ah, uh, rear. Destroy. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. Ooh, the banner! Small Lothric banner. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon no more. Oh, the blue sentinels are back to hunt these foul spirits. The way of blue achievement unlocked. What is wrong, unkindled one? Well, for one, I don't trust you. Are you not a lord seeker? I am. Head to the base of the high wall and seek the Lords of Cinder. Is this not the calling of your kind since ages past? Ah, how could I know? What is wrong? Are you this? Okay. I also see this ladder, which is clearly a shortcut. It goes behind you. And this is just the weirdest statue drawing my attention. It makes me think he's slicing his throat with his broadsword, but who knows, right? 
So another question is like I've got the banner. She said what you need is not in this castle. Go do the banner stuff. But how trustworthy are people in Dark Souls, right? Or is there nothing here for me? This is weird because it's an invisible wall and invisible walls are weird in Dark Souls. Let me just say that up front. Um, this one is also sealed off. No detour ahead, therefore be wary of tears. Also invisible wall, cut me off. Okay, so I definitely can't move forward in here because all of these stairs are cutting me off. Eventually, I imagine, we'll come down there. And again, I have no trust of her. Look at the carpet. The carpet's all messed up. And when we come back, because I know we will come back, we'll kill that guy. There's another statue with the head, like, kind of cutting his, cut his head. And a decapitated statue. Now, I've written down in my book that there's still that area past the uh, big guy that I have to go to. So, not to fear, that is still in my list of things to do. We're gonna rest, because resting is good. Refills an Estus. And now, we'll go forward and unfurl the banner. Oh wait, before I do that, I want to take a look at the banner. Which is, what, a key item? Yeah. Hold up outside the main gas castle. It says to be taken. Small banner held by Lothric messengers. Hold up outside the main castle gate to be greeted by an escort. When the high wall appeared, the path to the undead settlement was blocked, and messengers came bearing this banner. They were sent out with a duty, but had no way of returning. So... That's a very weird statement, right? When the high wall appeared, makes it sound like the high wall wasn't built, it just appeared out of nowhere, which is incredibly strange. And when it happened, the path to the undead settlement was blocked. What is the undead settlement? Is that a place that we've been to before? Is that related to the undead settlement uh, area in Dark Souls 2? Are we talking about, like, the northern undead asylum? Right? Is that an undead settlement? Are we in that area since the... Since the Firelink Shrine is here? Is the Firelink Shrine related to the undead settlement? They were... Came bearing this banner. They were sent out with a duty. But no way of returning. Oh, I'll return. I'll use the bonfires. Like, that's clearly a low wall. Because the high wall is above us. Right? I can't even look up to the high wall. All right, let's get taken. That's probably by demons, right? Hello, it's me. Raising the banner, come get me. With my silly gloves. Whoa. These are definitely the demons. Yep. Just like going to Anne Orlando. Hey guys, take me away. And then I'm sure some of you will want to kill me later. Because why wouldn't you? There's the high wall. Super high. See ya. And I'm sure you'll want to fight me. The Oh, this is the undead settlement. Well, I guess... To answer the question, the path to the undead settlement was blocked. Oh my gosh. Are they bearing... Banners? Are these people... Oh, they're also... There's a big dragon down there. They're also kind of worshipping the dragon, maybe. That was the path to the undead settlement, I think. It goes all the way out that way. And this thing, this high wall here, just appeared and blocked off this path. I mean, that's what I think has happened. That is... Like, Lothric Castle is just absolutely crazy big. And you know that in the game it is not going to be nearly as big as it looks here, which is really unfortunate because I'd be okay with a whole game that is just exploring Lothric Castle, right? A whole game of just exploring one big castle would be pretty cool to me. 
Uh, we've got a big place down there that I saw before. Kind of looks like that place uh, in, in Orlando, the big long building that has the painted, uh, like, the painted world in it. Alright, we're gonna light the bonfire. Rest the bonfire. This is where we are. This is the undead settlement. That's a really neat thing there, how it goes all the way up. We've got a very large square building that way. We're still significantly high above the wall, and I do wonder if this wall is related to Lord Ran. And we're gonna be headed that way, but I don't see a whole lot of guys, and that undead settlement has to be there, it has to be this town. Okay, can't go that way. Uh, stairs down, but I have to assume that this way is a thing too. Hey buddy, what do you got? Ooh, a large soul, nice. Probably be, uh, good for a level. And then we can't go that way. So I'm glad I came this way. Man, that place is super cool looking. You just know that it's gonna be related to the end of the game, right? Like, there's no way, I mean, there's a ladder behind her. Oh. The gates are open. The dogs come out. Three dogs, killed all the hollows waiting. We got carriages, just like in Aldia's keep. It's interesting. Oh, and the porcelain went back down. But the dogs stayed out. Interesting. Yeah, you're dead. Try pointless. Hey, buddy. I mean, I've seen enemies attack through the wall, so I thought I'd give it a try. Did not seem to work so well for me, and there should be one more dog. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Three dead dogs. I'm gonna look over this way. Undead dogs. Like, I'm not just killing dogs for the sake of killing dogs. Is that a bad guy? He's, well, he's got a big, scary weapon, so probably. Waiting for me to pull the door. I wonder if those are his dogs. But I should go this way first. Alright, see what's going on out here. Oh! A luring skull? They're out here eating this corpse. And these dudes are all chained. With the big things on them that tell me. <laughs> Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> this guy? Oh. Hello. Who are you? Oh, then it's true. Can you tell me about A these champion things? Of ash, as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor. A pilgrim, as Londor. you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Why don't you come to Firelink? Say, Champion of Ash, Ooh. how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? Sounds good, Yul. I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Oh, certainly. Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I don't exactly trust you, but I, whatever. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. 
I guess he's out to fire link. Really weird that he's from Wandor, right? Oh! Let's gonna say try jumping. Let there be death. Not try jumping. Huh. So I must get here from Lothric Castle. Like, that has to be a thing, because we see one, this dragon that I assume is dead, because he looks dead, this giant hole, and I see a couple of things to gather over there. I mean, I assume the dragon's dead, but since it's the only thing there and there's no other enemies, he's probably alive and there's probably a fight. But now we have Yule into our service. Okay, I think we open the portcullis here. And we f either fight or attack the guy. Or talk to the guy. And then we call it a day. Make great progress. Oh, he's leaving. He is definitely a bad guy. Definitely someone trying to lure me into a trap, right? Time for dark spirit. In short, no skill ahead. No hope ahead. Try backstepping. I'm gonna light the bonfire. Rest at the bonfire. We see that it's called Undead Settlement, and there's also Foot of the High Wall. Just let them kill over there. Oh, maybe I should have the bow to cut down corpses. Ooh, there's a couple of dudes here. these strike me as people who probably work the undead settlement, which is kind of interesting. Weird that they want to attack me. Like, I haven't done anything to them. We are definitely going in this crumbling house. I mean, look at over here. Like, are we going to that church? I bet you we are going to that church. I think it's a church because it looks like a church. Maybe going to the top. I think that's a statue. And we're probably going in that building. And maybe in that one. Small leather shield. Try rolling. Sure. Are there flies in here because of the dead, or... Like, or what else is going on here? I can't make it up there. We definitely kill that little thing. Super weird thing with a hatchet. Hmm. But now I'm kind of screwed, because I'm over here. I killed that thing. I got nowhere to go but down. Where there's certainly more guys. 
Whoa! I almost fell there. Something ahead. Repair powder. Okay, I'll take it. You don't see why not. Man, this game is beautiful. Look at that tower. Everything's crumbling. Oh, I can actually get a look down here. Oh, I unequipped my binoculars. This place looks rough. You can see all these guys... ...are focused on... ...like, giving worship. Seemingly, either to the tree... ...which is on fire. Maybe related to Izalith, but I doubt it. Or this dude here with the big hat. But I don't want to fight all these dudes, because that sounds awful. Alright, we knocked that down so that when we get there, it'll be there. This dude is weird. What is this, like a lesion? Like, he's got a... He's got trees and stuff growing out of him. Really strange. Ooh, charcoal pine bundle. Alright, we're gonna head down through the house more. Not now, though. I want to check out the things that we got here. A small bundle of charcoal pine resin up quickly applies to right hand weapon does not last for long can be used in inventive ways such as applying it in the middle of a series of blows how do you put it in the middle oh that's weird the luring skull skull replenished in the sun of souls prepared by evangelists of the cathedral of the deep I wonder if we're going there throw to shatter spreading skulls which attract enemies not effective for all foes might be good with that group Did I get something else? Um, small leather shield. Small leather covered round shield features a large protrusion designed for parrying attacks and it can parry. It's weird. I thought I put 11 arrows, but maybe not. Uh, we have the covenant. Way of the blue. Pale blue sheepskin parchment featuring an illustration of the moon, symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the Way of Blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit threatens them, a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help to root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically while well, this is equipped. Oh, is there a way to equip it? Is this the covenant? Yes. There. We got that equipped. Oh, and now we have up in the top left a Way of the Blue thing. All right, this was a good episode. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more Dark Souls 3, feel free to subscribe. Plus, helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I do love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.